Yeah, several told me they already have their curriculum and lesson plans in place and approved by their local board. But State Superintendent Ryan Walter says if those plans don't include the Bible, those districts will be breaking state law. It's so important. It's a crucial part of our history. We have to have it in the classroom. Oklahoma State Superintendent Ryan Walter is doubling down on his order for the Bible to be used in schools across the state when teaching history, literature and the arts. Walter is dropping new guidelines on Wednesday. Walters argues he has the law on his side that his interpretation of state standards make it so the Bible has to be included. If they are choosing to indoctrinate kids by forcing the Bible out, they are in violation of our standards, of our laws. So no, they don't have local control to pick and choose what parts of history they teach our kids. But no large districts in the OKC Metro have said they'll follow the order. Edmund telling KOCO they will continue teaching to the Oklahoma standards using a curriculum that has gone through an adoption process and been approved by our school board. Middale Superintendent Dr. Rick Cobb saying it's not appropriate for the state or the district to mandate all classrooms have a Bible or that all teachers use it. And Norman superintendent says after reviewing the guidelines, they will not be following the order from OSDE. Moore says they already include the Bible in some lessons, but haven't reviewed the guidelines. Deer Creek, Mustang, and OKCPS tell us they are still looking over what was handed down today. Any districts that you are aware of that are ready to go on board today with this plan? We've, we've had a lot of folks reach out that are very excited about it. Can you name one? Uh, I'm not going to name them here. Uh, why not? Why not? Well, because I, I, first of all, I don't have a comprehensive list, and I don't want to sit here and, and put them on the spot. And Walter says if any school district does not follow the order by this fall, he is willing to take some sort of disciplinary, disciplinary action. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.